Okay. Hey. You know, I. This is why I'm against social justice. Because look at the whole situation around Baltimore. I mean, I don't really think Trump was dog whistling. I really don't. What I really think is that there's a mayor who, because of frigging, uh, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, the race identity, the friggin', uh, the whole friggin' victim mentality. You know, it's a, it's, it's a race issue. Well, you know, maybe it is a race issue. Maybe it's something to do with the circle of poverty and people not being the same way. But what does that mean? It, does it mean we should treat people in a disrespectful way? No. Does it mean we should friggin', you know, just wink and nod and accept that friggin' these people aren't as intelligent as us? No. But what it does mean is that we stop getting this victim mentality where everything is racist or bigoted or something and face the fact that evolution happens from the neck up. Now, what does that mean when evolution happens with the neck up? Well, it means that different people need different solutions. And that may sound bad, because really, who's to decide what's a better solution for somebody that's this or that? You know? That's the problem. But the problem is, is that what's happening is that this progressive, social progressive multiculturalism just isn't working. And the solution to that, I think, is to accept that different groups of people like other groups of people without segregating can self-govern a little bit. These people in Baltimore know what's good for them. At least to a point. But their government could serve them and not the other way around. Because of this freaking political malaise you have a situation where one size fits none. And what could happen Especially with the approval of the local populace of Baltimore, or, you know, maybe the black section of Baltimore, is that we have more concise and um, comprehensive laws. Because a lot of these ordinances and a lot of these laws and a lot of these things actually handicap people from helping themselves. You got you got freaking restrictions on sustenance. You got uh, land codes. You've got freaking real estate law. You've got all these restrictions meant to stop one thing, but they facilitate another, like all the slums and the rat holes and everything else. We would not have these problems if we had better solutions. And I, for one, being a post-scarcity futurist, and the futurist part is freaking uh, innovative and practical and productive solutions on not only laws, but waste management, building, living situations. A lot of things could be different and much more healthy and productive if we had a comprehensive idea of a community. But no, you can't have that. Everything from friggin' Baltimore to friggin' Seattle has to be uh, homogeneous. That's bull. And if we got a welfare situation why isn't there welfare incentives for people to move to places, 
since they're on welfare, they're not going to work anyway. Where freaking there's uh, less cost. You know, everyone's freaking huddled up in Baltimore and New York and Washington and L.A. and freaking all these other states and Seattle. And it's all shit. It's complete shit. And it's like, well, you could freaking, well, maybe people don't exactly want to move out to the Midwest. But you could have planned, organized communities that would be much cheaper and with a little overhaul of uh, state by state laws although I do approve of state law uh, and, and hate federal overreach there could be something good there you know you could have freaking uh, you could break up the cycle of poverty and when you break up the cycle of poverty once you have, well, you know, I don't even like freaking subs, subsidies. You know, there should be a straight bonus or straight universal basic income and then bonuses for people who have things like veterans, you know, SSI, Medi-Cal, whatever, you know. Well, medicine should be free, you know, almost to a point. You know, and you should have a right to be able to pay, too. You know, if you think you could do better. And that should be less expensive, too. It's completely crazy the way Big Pharma and the other people are friggin' running things. See, I have a bitch on the left and the right, you know. I, I'm, I'm a cultural libertarian, you know. But economically, I'm a friggin' progressive. You know, I, I guess I'm a friggin' left libertarian, except I'm friggin' a social conservative and an economic progressive. You know, uh, and it's like, you know, if you want to call me a friggin' uh, utopian socialist, well, uh, I don't agree with Marx, but, you know, some of that, like the Venus Initiative and other things, I don't really call it friggin' socialism or communism or anything like that. But yeah, you know, uh, futurism. Uh, and, you know, so I like big, shiny, frigging retro futurist things. Well, the fact is, not just to make it frigging googie architecture, but actually to build things that are actually intelligent and sustainable. Like on the frigging uh, Hurricane Alley, you frigging have buildings. They have buildings that are like domes. That will not blow down. And it's not and will not hardly succumb to frigging flying debris. But no. We keep building the friggin' same old friggin' Western European frigging batch roof, you know, and frigging uh you know, the the steeple roof and the friggin' four sides, the ticky tacky little houses. You know, and that doesn't make sense. For a lot of areas. You know. So it just floors me. That we have this problem in Baltimore. And freaking everyone's going. Oh it's racist. It's racist. No. It's partially racial. But other than that. It's freaking. You know. It's it's the fault of the system. Because it, it could be. Racially. Freaking comprehensive. And frigging a communitarian initiative. There's all kinds of alternate living situations that work just fine. Not that everyone should be in a cult Davidian or frigging out there in frigging Mormon land or whatever. But sometimes it works. And that's good. And if people want to live that way and find communal living and such like that good I think it's a good idea but you know who doesn't like that the federal government doesn't like that it keeps pitting us against each other you know it's like a baseball game oh someone's in field trying to catch the things looking resentable and someone's at bat trying to get wild you know swing batter 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 you know and it's just ridiculous 
you know, the Democrats get in office and, oh, we're going to be nice and respectful. And the Republicans are all like, blah, you know, you know, and just bullshit. You know what I mean? Especially the mainstream boomer Republicans. And Trump's not that, but who knows what Trump is, you know. I could give, I'd go on that for about an hour. But yes, uh, just fucking, you could have thermal depolarization and have a frigging everything have a trash subsidy. Believe me, if you did that right and just let people go and they can make their money, they can get their recycle on and it's actually a little change, you would not see one friggin' dirty street in the goddamn friggin' world. You know, or at least in the friggin' cities. You know, they would be going nuts. You know, and it's, you can see it with cans. Imagine if everything was recyclable. You c you wouldn't have to put out trash cans anymore. You know? So, yeah. Baltimore is just dog signaling for rapists. No, it's dog signaling for you goddamn race baiting freaking socialists and the Marxist can shock the hell up you know anyway rant 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 rant